Diese Räume haben für immer zwei Seiten. Nächstes 1938, 1938 ist Henry Körner, K-O-I-R-N-E-R, Kör Körner, Körner, nach Amerika ausgewandert. Nach Amerika ausgewandert. Ja? Wer, ja, ja, ja. Machen wir den nächsten Satz, wir wieder ab, abstanden. In an environment that is basically very close to your childhood and to your existence, it, it is a better ground to grow grapes than on a ground that doesn't have uh, the nutrition that make grapes grow good. That's the reason why I love, I love Pittsburgh. I like, like the feel of it. I like uh, the the endless uh, um, imagery and paintability it, it evokes in me. I love to show that this is great beauty. And I'm excited about it because other people don't look at it. They pass by and they shut their eyes and they only want to see it. Do you understand now? My sister and I were always puzzled by our family's compulsive returns, but we understood their practical purpose. My father went to Vienna to paint. He did his first painting, the portrait of his parents, completely from memory. But afterwards, when the army shipped him to London and then to Germany, he began to paint and draw only from life. Eventually, this method became his artistic creed. Nothing from memory, nothing from photographs, everything always and only from life. So when he decided to show Vienna to his wife and children, he started to sketch and paint there too, in Vienna, out of doors, from life. It's not coincidental that there was a job open as an artist in residence at Pennsylvania College for Women. That's nonsense. I came here because I was supposed to come here. Now for you, the whole thing might be just a joke, but that's all right. I, I leave it open. Maybe destiny, maybe it's coincidental. Do you understand that? 